This is the third and final video on radioactivity for GCSE. We know from the previous two videos that there are three types of particles, alpha, beta, and gamma. Uh, these types of radiation, sorry, not particles, particles, alpha particles and beta particles, gamma radiation. These three types of radiation behave in different ways. And one thing that you need to know for GCSE is how they interact with an electric field and with a magnetic field. So with an electric field, let's imagine that we have a positive, a positive electrode here and a negative electrode here. You have an electric field between them. The alpha particle, we know that an alpha particle is a helium nucleus. So it has a two plus charge. So if the alpha particle is fired into this electric field, the alpha particle is going to go towards the negative side because opposite charges attract. The beta particle is an electron. So an electron has a negative charge, so the electron, the beta particle, is going to be deflected towards the positive side. Now you'll notice here that I've drawn the beta particle being deflected more. Even though the alpha particle has a 2 plus charge and beta particle only has a minus charge, the alpha particle is approximately 8,000 times heavier than the beta particle. So it takes a lot more force to deflect the alpha particle. So the alpha particle is deflected less than the beta particle. Beta particle is very light, so it deflects more, and it goes towards the positive because it's a negatively charged particle and opposites attract. The gamma ray, gamma rays are not particles and they have no charge. So the gamma ray is not gonna be affected by the electric field at all. It's just gonna keep on going straight. Now the way that we sense or detect radiation is using something called a Geiger counter. And a Geiger counter would be able to prove this if we were shooting um, alpha, beta, and gamma radiation through this electric field, we could have a Geiger counter here, a Geiger counter here, and a Geiger counter here. And it would tell you, depending on the type of radiation, it would show you that this pattern happens. The beta is deflected towards the positive, alpha towards the negative, and gamma continues straight. Now the magnetic field is slightly different. We've just talked about an electric field, but the magnetic field is slightly different. Um, we still have our alpha, beta, and gamma, gamma radiation being, um, being shot through the field. Um, but in this case, we draw our magnetic field like this. Now an X means the magnetic field is going into the page, if it was just a dot, that means the magnetic field is coming out of the page. Um, but we will just talk about the magnetic field going into the page at the moment. So if the magnetic field is going into the page, we can use our Fleming's left hand rule to determine which direction the force is going to act on these particles. So we know from electronics that, uh, sorry, electromagnetism, that the first finger is the magnetic field, the second finger is the current, and that is conventional current, which means it goes from, is the flow of positive charge, so positive to negative. And your thumb is movement. So you've got your field going into the page, your positive charge is going that way, which is our alpha particle, and so the movement, the force, must be upwards. So our alpha particle travels upwards. We can do the same thing with the beta particle. The beta particle, the field is still in the same direction, but the charge is different. The charge is opposite because the beta particle has an opposite charge, so the charge is that way, which means the movement is down in the opposite direction, which is what we would expect. So our beta particle 
goes down. Again, it gets deflected more than the alpha particle. In fact, it would probably do more like that. It gets deflected more than the alpha particle because it is much lighter than the alpha particle. The gamma ray, once again, no charge, is not affected, and so it continues traveling straight. That is how particles are deflected in a magnetic field. The third and final thing to talk about is safety with radioactive sources. Radioactive sources are dangerous because they are ionizing, and ionizing means that they can damage our cells, they can damage the DNA in our cells, which causes mutations and can lead to cancer. So if you spend too long in interaction with radioactive sources, then you're, you can, it can, long term it can lead to cancer, but short term it can also, if you have a high enough dose, it can also lead to radiation poisoning, which is where all your cells start to be damaged and your organs don't work anymore. So it's important to be very safe. So the first thing that we do for safety is we keep our radioactive sources in a lead-lined case. We know that alpha particles, being the most ionizing, get stopped by a piece of paper, and beta particles can be stopped by a little bit of lead or a little bit of aluminium. So our two most ionizing, most dangerous forms of radiation can be stopped by storing our source in a lead case. Another way of protecting ourselves um, is to ensure that when we're handling the sources, we don't hold them with our hands. So we would always use some tongs, like this, to handle our sources. We could pick it up by that bit and move it around like that. So, first of all, we keep them in a lead-lined case. Second of all, we handle them with tongs and don't touch them with our bare hands. The third thing is not to look directly at the source. This source, the case here, is actually made from aluminium. Um, and the source is only visible at the bottom here. So when we take it out, we take care not to look at the source. The reason for that is that we know our skin can stop alpha particles, but our retinas in our eyes are much, much more sensitive and much less well protected. So if we look directly at the source, it can lead much more easily to cancer than it could do if we pointed at our skin. So we take very, very great care not to look directly at a radioactive source. So number one, lead case. Number two, don't touch. Number three, don't look at it. And number four, every, every school or every facility that has radioactive sources has to have a trained professional. So you need safety professional training. And that is how we keep ourselves safe from radiation.